The IWC Pilots family has four distinct collections underneath it. We have the Classic Collection, the Top Gun Collection, the St. Exupery Collection, and this, the newest collection of all, the Spitfire Collection. We're going to explore two models in detail and give you a glimpse of some of the broader attributes. Okay, what a feast. This is the 2019 Spitfire Collection. Until 2019, the Spitfire has been a model with either a silver or a grey dial that's occurred through different collections. However, in 2019, this collection is now standalone. What's different? What's new? I'm glad you asked. There's a lot to talk about. We have new case materials, we have new movements, and we have a new look. Uh, instead of just silver or grey dials, we have over here brown calf straps, bronze, in a particular IWC alloy that's quite dark. So usually bronze starts at a bright gold type of appearance, whereas this is a darker alloy that probably reflects more what it's going to look like over time, as opposed to radically aging and, and gaining patina. And also we have olive green dials. All of this, yes, it's a very military look, but it's also apparently reflective of the colour scheme within a Spitfire, so there's been quite a bit of thought put into that. Over here we have steel cases with khaki fabric straps with calf leather underlay. Now, the other big news, the main news I would say for you, is that while many of IWC's pilot watches over the years have had Ebosh movements, every single movement here is an IWC in-house movement. So to the automatic models, this one and this one, we have the Calibre 32, and in the chronograph models, this one and this one, we have the Calibre 69, two IWC proprietary movements. The two watches we're going to single out, the first is likely to be the most popular Spitfire, and that is the 41 millimeter chronograph. Now this is quite a small size chronograph for IWC, uh, and it really has a lot of those vi vintage military uh, attributes. We have a faux patina on the hands and indices. And the second one we're focusing on is the bronze perpetual calendar. Now this perpetual calendar is only available in bronze. There's not a steel equivalent. And my goodness, what a large and lovely watch. 46.5 millimeters. So not for the faint of wrist and limited to 250 pieces. The Spitfire collection has certainly introduced itself with a vengeance. We will be hearing much more from this collection over the years. 